After hitting the trending page, I was wondering why she stopped uploading about her breast surgery. Finally guys, we got another video about Easy's breast surgery. She uploaded a video called I regret getting breast surgery topless reveal. We've seen a little bit of it because they have been posting on the other channels, but we're gonna go ahead and see what she's going to show us in this one. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am, let's get it. Here is the ultimate review of my boobs with no shirt on. Okay, this time it's with no shirt on. What's poppy, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, throw a like on it, and turn your post notifications on. I like okay? the bright yellow. Okay. I like I it. I like it. Y'all ready for me to reveal these titties? Yes, girl. Okay? Yes. And I'm gonna reveal these titties to you. And I'm not just talking about the side periphery. I'm not talking about. Oh, okay. Let me look at my little shirt, and you see my white tee. I'm talking about y'all gonna see these titties. Okay. Are y'all ready? If you're ready, get it. Well, we're not gonna moves. see the whole thing, but we are gonna see it with her sports bra on, I'm it's sure. Up right now, you're watching it, you might as well like it. Let's get trending again, okay? Let's trend again. <laughs> She's so, so proud of that. I'm revealing, she you know be. what I'm saying? I wanna answer some of you guys' questions, but I will be revealing these tips. See, this is the thing. She's been doing this for a while, and quite honestly, I believe that she deserves more recognition because of all the hard work she's been putting in in all her videos all these years. But I do believe because she is a gay black woman, it's kind of hard to make it to the top on YouTube. I'm sorry, but they're not gonna push your videos out there because of that. So she did hit the trending page when she came out of the hospital with that breast surgery video. She hit number 14. And let me explain something to y'all. I've been saying this from the very beginning. If they were to make videos on some real shit, their views would be up a little bit higher. I'm telling you, people wanna relate. People wanna see more about you and your life, not just skits. I understand you're an actress and you're trying to make it big out here, but let's see some real stuff because then more people can see and understand you a little bit more, which I believe is the reason why that video hit the trending page, finally. But okay, let's go, let's see. It's to you. All right. Y'all want that infamous turn or what? Okay, say less. <laughs> okay, one more time. Hold on. It is a difference, guys. All right, so you look, may not this video see it, but is I strictly do. for an update of my breast surgery. A lot of you guys wanted an update. It's been like what a week or two since I, you know, even talked to you guys about it. It's been mm -hmm. four weeks completely, and been by a while. Friday it'll be five weeks since my breast surgery. So I'm four weeks post op. You feel me? And I told you guys, yo, ask me some questions so I can answer them, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you the pros and I'm gonna tell you the cons. I'm gonna be 100% honest. Things that I have struggled with, the things that I don't like about my breast, and some advice that I would give you before getting breast surgery but that being said let's get into these questions all right so the first question is are you able to wear stuff that you couldn't before yes 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 I feel like I was able of to course. wear the clothes but I wasn't as confident Common I did not sense like wearing says. bright colors and I only like wearing black it'd be occasional when you see me in colors and it's probably when I'm going out as you which can see is right why now, I said what I said on my last video on their channel I hope she stops wearing black because I knew she wore black to hide her breasts. It's pretty obvious. I'm wearing a vibrant. A lot of people wear black too if they're overweight and they feel insecure about their weight and black makes makes you look a little bit smaller. It's kind of like the same concept. As fucking yellow and I feel a lot more confident. How has your mental state been since your surgery? Love from Africa. What up Africa? My mental state has been a lot better. I would be in like a sunken place thinking about my boobs and like just being slouching and shit mm. like that. So I feel like my mental state is way up, you know, I'm happier, but there are some things that I wish that I wouldn't have to go through. You know what I'm saying? Are you taking your sports bra off too? <laughs> I am not wearing a sports bra. I'm wearing like a, I don't know if it's like a compression type surgical bra. I think okay. that's the name of it, but yeah, I'm not wearing a sports bra. So I just keep on that bra and I have been wearing this uh, surgical bra for the amount of time I've gotten surgery. So it's still, it's been four weeks. I have to wear it every single day. I got um, a few of them. So, so the next question is, I what sleeping positions do you have to avoid post surgery? Mm, wow, good bro. question. This is something that I do not <laughs> like. So if you love your sleep and you also really want to get a breast reduction, no, for six weeks you cannot lay in normal positions. I have literally been laying in my bed and it's like the first few weeks back? were uncomfortable, bro. I have to literally have at least three pillows behind me, two Damn. pillows on my under my arms, and I have to lay like that. I can't turn. Your I can't child. roll over. 
over, I can't do none of that. And I love my sleep, bro. Me too. I love my sleep. Me too. So it's like, it's really disappointing. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to be a pregnant woman because I'm sure they love their sleep too and it's been hard for them. They gotta, they gotta figure it out with positions. After getting breast surgery that I can't do that, but it ain't an end all be all. I love <laughs> sleeping cuz, but I can't sleep like how I want to. But is it worth it? Yes, I'm sure. Can you flip your thing down and reverse it? No, you just gotta <laughs> stay stiff with it, stay stiff. But uh, yeah, that's my sleeping position and I have to stay like that. I can't lay on my breast. And even when it comes to people hugging me, let's move this down a little bit. Ooh, so I can't even imagine. Visual these titties. There it is. Is that better? Now we can actually see my titties more, okay? But when I hug, when I'm hugging people, it's just, hey, how y'all doing? But it's it's still worth it, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it's going to prevent me from having like leakage and stuff like that or uh, complications when it comes to my sleeping positions. This is one of the most asked questions that I get. What size are your boobs now? Yes. I don't fucking know. Oh, you bro. still don't know? I don't fucking know. I've been still wearing this bra for so fucking long. I haven't even measured them. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what size they are yet. They're going on to week five and I still don't know. <laughs> I just know these is little cuts. Y'all remember? As long as they smaller, like right? These and that is like deep. Go blah, blah. I really can't tell you a size just yet. I think once I'm able to wear actual bras, like or I guess sports bras or regular bras or whatever, then I'll be able to tell my cup size. But it's hard to tell because they're still swollen, my guy. Refer back to my video of me actually revealing my breast surgery. And when I came out on that wheelchair, you can see it's completely like, damn, where do her titties go? So I'm thinking I'm gonna be a really small size compared like a bee, to a I'm sure. Bee. What are some things you still cannot I can't sleep in regular positions like Still? I just mentioned. I Five cannot work out. The most that I can do as far as working out is like walking. Today, I literally went on a little walk mini jog Damn. and I was like, <gasps> and my titties was like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I can't really work out like that. I can't really hug people like that. I can't really lift my arms as high as I would like without feeling like something. Damn, but, and she's super energetic. She's very hyper. So imagine just her talking. She's all animated so that takes up a lot of energy i wonder if she's I mean, in pain I'm, all the time you know, my stories you know i'm still like having a good time and like partying and stuff like that but i'm like keeping it to a minimum i can't dance like i want to dance mm -hmm. i want to do can't the most because i feel so light but i'm not supposed to this okay. next question is, what are you doing to reduce scarring? At this moment, I can't do nothing, uh, according to my doctor. Okay. I can't do nothing to reduce scarring right now until after six weeks. Yeah, I can't. I, that's what he told me, and that's what I'm going to listen to him. He's a professional, and I am an... I'm a little worried about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had Impedigo and it, it's not a healing process. All the crust has fell off already, so that's a good thing. But there's still some discoloration here and I wonder if that's a scar, <laughs> which worries me because I don't want that on my face. But it does take time to heal, so that's what I'm gonna keep in my head that hopefully it'll disappear eventually. I already got a scar on my ass, okay? For those who know, a dog bit me when I was six years old and it left me a big scar on my left butt cheek, okay? I ain't joking, so I don't need one on my face. Anything right now, but once that six week does come, I am gonna be using like, you know, that either some tape that can reduce scarring. This next question is the funniest question. Well, I have the funniest answer to it, but how much more sensitive are your nipples, bruh? Let me tell you, Ooh. I just want to say I'm blessed. Never I am about. blessed because my doctor did tell me it is possible that I could lose feeling in my nipples. But in my case, my nipples are more alive than they have ever been. <laughs> it's like these titties, boy. I do this and I'm like, God damn! What the hell? What is going on? My titties are sensitive as hell. I didn't even really like, like, you know, okay. like, you girl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Some people like to be placed in different areas. I didn't really like my, like, titties touched like Yeah, that. me neither. God damn! <laughs> they so damn sensitive. It's like, they hug me and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in, what up, bro? They coming in, but you know when you come in and you do the shake and you do the, you coming in, then my titties just. Oh uh, no! Nah. I'm like, hold up! Man. Yeah, don't be, don't be giving her no I, hugs, please, because she's gonna be feeling something. Uh, back up, back up, son. <laughs> Work to my mother. Back up, bro. What's he trying to do? What you talking about, bro? I'm like, what are you trying to do, my guy? Like, see, you, you trying to caress me? Trying to turn me on? Chill out, bro. Six feet, six feet. 
that's how sensitive they are. You know what I'm saying? So I feel everything. And sometimes I just find myself throughout the day just going like this. Oh like, my no cap. goodness. No cap. That's too like, much information for and me. And I got chill. Like, oh shit. Uh, watch me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we don't need to know this. Super sensitive. So this next question is how much weight did you lose after having your breast surgery? When it came to the surgery, I literally went to the doctor the next day and I actually weighed myself on the scale where they weighed me on the scale and it was like only a couple pounds lighter. But I guess boobs don't really weigh that much, you feel me? So it was only a couple pounds lighter and now that I'm four weeks in, I feel like my chest is so much lighter. So I lost weight up here, but my gut... <laughs> it still pops out a little bit. And my butt... Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that one. Stuck. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't. That wasn't a good one. Like I've said already previously that I've actually gained weight since surgery. So I feel a lot lighter at the top when it comes to my weight. But I feel a little bit heavier in my belly because, you know, I can't really work out. And I already told y'all the type of body that I got. It's just like, girl, you're getting thick. So now I'm tar starting to walk. I'm starting to do jogs. Try to get this weight back off. You feel me? I don't think I really lost weight, baby. That's I tough. gained it. But in my titty That's area, tough. my boobies. I would say a lot. I would say a lot. It's this all right. Next and is, it's all right. If you gain a little bit of weight during this time, that's all right. You can always work out right after. No problem. You feel more attractive now that you got it done. Yes, I feel a lot more attractive. Do you have Confidence. drop stitches or you have to get them removed? My stitches, I don't know if they're called drop stitches, but I don't have to get them removed. They're like dissolvable. Uh, so yeah, that's the type of stitches I got. Pros and cons throughout your entire experience. Pros, my boobs are a lot lighter. Cons, I do get leakage. My boobs hurt, scarring, not being able to sleep. So like, a lot more cons. Sleep, <laughs> if I do tend to roll over the wrong way, I will wake up with leakage on my boobs. So this next person says, I want to get a breast surgery. Uh, a lot more cons after the surgery, but once everything is good, the results are A+. Plus. Well, when I'm older, but I'm scared, do you have any advice for me? I would say, if you really want it, do it. Don't let nothing hold you back. You'll be happier. It's something that's going to benefit you, and you'll be happier with the results. I so agree. Fucking do it. How are you not in pain? I am in pain when I do certain things. When I'm out in the, in the club doing the most, I be in pain after because I be like drinking this shit and I don't be feeling it in the moment. But when I wake up <laughs> in the late morning, I'm like, ah, ooh, ooh. Eh, 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 Girls, eh, keep eh, your ass at home during this time. Ah, Why so are you doing I'm all that? Pain. All right, so somebody says, do you have any regrets with the surgery? I'm super glad you're okay though. No. I don't have any regrets. I don't have any regrets with the surgery. I feel like it's it's a blessing. How many months will it take for your breast to fully recover? Because I want to do a breast reduction too. My doctor told me it could be a while. Some people's processes are different and their recovery time is either longer or shorter. I know based off of my mom's experience, even in a year's time, her boobs looked a lot smaller. Wow. So even in that three months, they look like, damn, like she looked like she's fully recovered. But when it came to her results, a year later, she was way smaller than she was three months post-op. Why did you get a breast reduction? I did not know that. I didn't know it would be. It could be that long. So something I learned. Um, well, maybe you're a new subscriber, new follower. I got a breast reduction because not only of my back pain that I was having, but just more of an insecurity and the things I liked and didn't like about my body and the way I looked in clothes. So this person says, can you please reveal yo titty? All right, man. Y'all want to see these titties? Give me some music. <laughs> she makes it so uncomfortable. Like, just... Let us see it, please. A bitch got fat. So don't look at my damn Don't make stomach, this awkward, right? girl. Okay. Don't look at I like her eyes, by the way. All right. Here is the ultimate. Very, very light. My boobs with no shirt on. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh my, my gosh, hard. they're so small. They be small. hard, y'all. They be hard. But don't look at the gut. Don't look at the gut. I think you guys have seen me in a bra before. On my YouTube channel, if you haven't, like, go look on my Instagram or whatever. Girl, I cover my nipples because they hard. Okay, okay? let us see them, though. Don't look at my nipples. Here oh is my the God, they are so small. They are super swollen, like, all right here. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. Sometimes, like, it, it, it like, not bleeds, but leaks right here. I wish I could sh They are very small. And the doctor did say her breasts do grow more, like, towards the side. So you can see that you, they're still more towards the side but if you actually look at them they actually look really small i hope she didn't go to an a not that there's anything wrong with an a because that's what i am all right but that's a big dramatic change from double d's to an a that's that's extreme 
But whatever like, makes her happy took, though. But I was naked, so I couldn't care. I couldn't really do that. But my boobs used to be right here. I have a before and after picture that Damn, I can't show real? you, unfortunately. But I have a picture of my boobs being way down here. Damn. Um, and wide, like all the way over here. Wow. But yeah, these are my boobs. They're still big, but we'll come back and, you know, see how they look. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. And you'll be able to see them pop out a little bit more too once she starts to lose the weight because then her stomach would be a little bit inward But right now, I mean what I look like I don't really have that much cleavage um, Yeah, I used to be wow. all cleavage like if you guys remember this would be all fucking cleavage right here so. <laughs> Yes, we remember if you guys have any more questions. I'm gonna answer them in the comment section. Okay, look at her wearing that white that white tee that she would never ever wear Looking good, girl. Meet me in the comment section. I love you guys, and thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. I, I, I. I said I was gonna follow her journey, and this is what I'm doing, okay? Y'all tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.